everyone, it's Nicole for Plan with Nicole and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be walking you through my unboxing of what I picked up from the spring 2022 release from the Happy Planner. These have been out for a little bit now, but I'm just getting around to sharing my unboxing. Hi everyone, it is Nicole for Plan with Nicole and today we're going to walk through my spring release haul with you. I did get quite a lot of things even though I hadn't been planning much um, in February but that was just due to an injury and not having time or the energy. Um, uh, outside of my regular work I hardly did anything so I'm super excited because I've been sharing quite a bit more lately and I'm going to walk you through the things I picked up and what I think I'm going to do with them. So I had made a section in my catch-all planner for my crafts and I have yet to kind of get it all the way set up. It's like one of those things I really really want to do. Um, so I decided to pick up a notebook to do this because I didn't think I probably needed a full size planner. I mean, I guess we could always, I could always change my mind later on, but I picked up, let me get it open here, sorry. This is going to be, what is the name of this one? It is just a little notebook here, but I picked this up. It's like a happy notes. I am likely going to make a lot of alterations to this. Wow, this is sticky. Okay, hold please. I am going to undo this and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I really had to use a lot of undo. I don't like to be negative, but I don't like whatever adhesive they used to hold this in place. Um, so anyway, let's get this all unwrapped. It's a notebook. It's cute. I have big plans for it. I'm going to be altering it quite a bit. I really thought, um, everything about it was kind of fun, but I don't really know how much of the guts of this I'm going to keep. As I mentioned, I do like that the pages are, it's pretty plain. Um, I like something pretty plain because, like I said, probably going to do a lot of like Miss Maker stuff in here or customize it in some way to keep track of my quilting and cross stitch projects. So that is what I bought this for. Um, I did buy these dividers because I always like having some like divider options. So I bought these dashboards to go in there. Oh, I missed one come back here I love do what they think you can't do and it all started with a dream so I bought those to go in there that is the first thing let's see if I bought anything else to go in there We're going to go through filler paper next. I did buy this block pad. Um, I'm a sucker for good filler paper. The, oh, it's kind of, oh my goodness. I really hope that the whole thing isn't like this. That's just the top one. Okay. So I love the dot grid over here. I don't know if you can see that, the days of the week. Um, I just thought it would be great for, I don't know, anything. I even thought for my little quilting, so it kind of keep track of like, here's, or my cross stitch rather. I usually like to keep track of how long, it's something new I've started just as I've picked cross stitch back up in the last year or so, um, how long I spend doing it. And I don't get to do it every night, but it is kind of what I do like Monday through Thursday at least, maybe even Friday, sometimes Saturday or Sunday, it just depends. Um, but I like to keep track of the time so that at the end of the project, I can kind of see how long it took me. And I thought that these might be convenient for that, as well as other types of projects. So I got that 
filler paper pad. I also got this Work Life filler paper. Which the packaging is pretty, but let's get this open. So these are gonna be more like loose leaf sheets. They're double-sided, very classic, it says notes up at the top. And again, j just basic filler paper. I tend to be drawn to the paper that is kind of plain. All right, let's talk about, well, let's see if, what, anything non-Disney and then I will do my Disney stuff because of course I had to have new Disney. So let's go ahead and try to organize what I got going on here. All right, first up, also in the work life, I did pick up a couple of these books. I didn't get all of them, but I did get, which one is this one? Okay, I got the great little you know, stickers, little hexagons, great for bullet journaling, which I love. I'm always looking for stuff like this for my planners. So I did pick up this. I thought the colors were really pretty. It really looks nice with like a lot of the blush colors or even rose gold or anything like that. I also picked up this one. Am I just not seeing the names of these? Because I really can't remember the names. I will have everything linked down below in the description. So I got these colors as well, which I really think they'll go with the minimalistic Mickey or Disney, yeah, Mickey and Minnie Disney that I was in the last release that I have a lot of. So a lot of things I picked up I was hoping would work with previous Disney releases. So I got these two. I did not get the one that had the foil stickers because the foil stickers are not my favorite for the most part, um, mostly because they're super hard to photograph. And I just don't, I don't know, I don't love them as much. I did get this little sticker book called Heartland. Some washi. I thought the colors in this were really pretty. And then of course I loved all, uh, I don't love that page. Although some of those would be pretty, but I loved these. I love those leaves. I like the doodly ones. I even, I like the uh, quotes here. Some foil is okay. It's, I'm just super picky. So got that. I did pick up this rainbow sticker book, of course. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Look at all these glorious box stickers and all the colors. Oh, I'm so excited. Love, 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 love this so much. Beautiful. So I got that. And I got this gratitude sticker book. I thought the colors in this were beautiful as well. I love these. I love these blue colors, neutrals, pretty, all kinds of great. These are so pretty. I know I just said I don't like foil. I, can, I do like foil. I just don't like it in super huge, but these are beautiful. I love this. I love these, all pretty. So excited to use this. And like, look at the splatter. You guys know I love all the little splatters like that. So I'm really, really excited about this sticker book. Gratitude, and I think it's a fantastic, the whole idea behind this and a lot of the stickers is fantastic. Bold and bright. I mean, I loved these dots. I thought they'd be really cute on Disney spreads. These just look like a party to me. Love it. I think these foiled gold lined circle stickers are awesome. I love the rainbow quotes really excited hearts. I can't even tell you how excited I am about those. 
some pretty little washies, boxes, quotes, boxes, boxes, all kinds of bullet points, boxes. Just the colors in this I thought would go with so many things I have um, already and just would be really usable. I am a sucker for anything blush. This is so pretty, you guys. I love all of these basic stickers. I like these quotes. I like that there's no foil on those. These foiled ones are gorgeous, though. Boxes and all kinds of cute washi and... Oh, gosh, look at that. I love the pink with the little hearts. Do you see that? And I even like this kind of beige with gold foil. I like the foil on all of those. Love these stickers. Hearts. More hearts. Thank you, Happy Planner, for hearts. I love these little, I love adding these little um, titles to my boxes and things. More great hearts. I mean, it's like they heard me. I'm so excited. I love the sticker book. Okay, so excited. Even better in person. I can't believe I like waited a whole week to open this box, you guys. Um, I'm only going to go through one of these, so I am extra. I think I got this in, yeah, I got it in both sizes. So I got it in big and regular. Let's just go through the regular one. There'll be a few differences, of course, but... Oh my goodness, blues and beiges, so pretty. I love the indigo. Just another take on this, on the Disney theme. Oh, that's cute, all the celebrate and birthday things, meetings, I like that. I like these. I really like these clear stickers. I love these as well. I'm excited to use these. I just love it. Really pretty little washies. More washi. The Minnie and Mickey heads are really cute too. I love I like using these to create like full borders where I use tons of these. More greetings that don't have foil, which I love. These are foiled, but on blue background, so I'm kind of excited to see how these might work in a planner. That's cute. I have to say that this is one of the first times I've not really watched people's flip-throughs before I bought things, so it's all new to me, <laughs> and I haven't watched very many videos lately. Oh, I love these. I love, love, love these, so I'm really excited to dive into the new Disney, the Indigo line. And then of course, this is the big size sticker book. I like these a lot. Oh my gosh, those are cute. And the big size here. I love how huge these are. These are gonna be great for like some title pages and things like that is what I'm thinking. I love how they've got that watercolory look and they're not like, not super perfect. Watercolor read. Yeah, that's a technical term that I just made up. Oh, I love this. Okay, I'm excited. Indigo is a win. Anything else in indigo? Yes. Shall we go ahead and dive? I have a couple more things in indigo, actually, it looks like. Did I go overboard? Why, yes, I did. So I bought the planner accessory pack for the Indigo line. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Which it has a little sheet of stickers. Cute. It's got a little divider here. We've got some sticky notes, which I love. It's got a cute little pocket. Just going to tuck this in here so we don't lose it. And then some great filler paper. I like the grid on the second half and then the bullets with the lines. And then the back is completely lined. Very cute. And then these are the big stickers. 
but I've really been loving big stickers, so I picked these up as well. Oh, I love them. I love them. I don't love storing them. If you guys have some good suggestions on how you store your stickers that are this size, please drop me a comment down below and let me know. But I love the stickers, but I find that I have a hard time figuring out a good way to store these. Okay, <laughs> farmhouse. Yes, I loved this as well. Um, these are the big ones. Let's just go through the regular size. What did I get? Oh, farmhouse. These must be like the boxes. Yes. So we got like circles, foiled. Cute, cute, cute. I think I missed a page. I love this. Start living your dreams. All kinds of cute boxes. The cute faces in the kind of farmhousey line colors. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's time to shine. I like that. I like that that, the colors too. Kind of neutral. Bullets or checklists. All that good stuff. Oh, I love it. I'm really, really excited about these. Okay, so I got that in this size and the big, apparently. Then we got the sticker book, which is going to be more like the images and quotes and things. Oh, I love it. Not today. <laughs> That's so cute. I love how it's kind of got that tile there. So just a different kind of color scheme and take on the Happy Planners Disney line. I'm always lo looking for different colors and things, so this is really fun. Okay, so we got that. I did get then the big size. Oh, I love all the colors for the the silhouettes. Got some great quotes, clear quotes, more clear quotes, clear quotes. Look at those. How fun is that? I love. I think these would be so cute on a spread. Um, more clear quotes, paper. Background quotes, clear quotes, clear. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so that's Farmhouse. I did pick up this filler paper. Oh, this was probably the indigo. I knew I would miss something and get out of order. I use these all the time, the filler papers. Oh, look at the, how cute it is on the back. It has the check it off. And it has the dot grid back here. And on the front, it's lined. So I thought these would be fun too. I like filler paper. Sometimes I use it and then it's like just a, more of a throwaway. All right, and then I did get the big size of the farmhouse stickers. So more of these big ones that I have no idea what a good way is to store them, but I love them. Today is magic. That's so pretty. Anyway, so got those. And then I did buy the removable clings. Let's open those as well. So these are our removable clings, really cute. 
excited to add those. You can add them to water bottles or all kinds of things. Your, your laptop. And then this was kind of one of those impulse things, but let's see. This is for your happy planner. Well, let's get this off so I'm not so loud. So this is a folio. for your classic planner and it is that classic Disney design which I love. And you can slide your planner in here and then there's room to store things and all kinds of good things. And I just thought this would be a great thing for when I take it on the go, it kind of helped keep it nice and protected. I just loved the design so much. It's nice and classic. It's not super busy. So it's what I like. So I did pick that up as well. Thank you so much for joining me today for this unboxing haul video featuring the spring 2022 release from the Happy Planner. The supplies that I show have shown are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel hit that like button and don't forget to click the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new planning video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.